Well, a suspicious fire has claimed one of the Bay Area's most beloved redwoods, the Pioneer Tree in the North Bay. It was visited and revisited by generations of locals and tourists since the Samuel P. Taylor State Park first opened 77 years ago. KTV's Tom Baker joins us now live from Marin County with the circumstances surrounding this fire. Tom. Well, when you think about it, redwoods are those jewels that Mother Nature bestowed on California's environmental wonders. Unfortunately, one of those jewels, one of the real gems, is gone forever. This is all that's left of the pioneer tree, a 700-year-old, old-growth redwood in Marin's Samuel P. Taylor State Park. Thursday morning, a hiker walking along Pioneer Tree Trail came upon the fiercely burning tree, burning from the inside out. Marin County Fire came out running a mile of hose in an effort to save it. But unfortunately it was already um, burning quite hotly and, and it fell um, in the early afternoon. Vince Anibulli is chief Bay Area Ranger for the California State Park System. He says it was a natural wonder that allowed people to look inside the 200 foot tall mega tree. Previous fires had hollowed out the tree probably from, you know, centuries of fires coming through the area. And In the 1800s, loggers never took the tree down because it was hollow and was habitat for lots of animals, including bats. Countless people have walked into its inviting cavernous base. The pioneer tree was probably a seedling during the Hundred Years War back in the 1300s. It would take another 150 years for Columbus to sail the ocean blue and discover America. That's how big a loss this is. It's iconic. It's definitely a tragic loss for the community. We've had visitors already come by and leave flowers at the kiosk for the tree. I'm saddened. It's like a death in the family and um, you know, hope they get to the bottom of it, find out what happened, and so it could be prevented in the future. The fire is suspicious. We're working with Marin County Fire right now with their investigation team to find out what happened. And investigators probably will find out what happened. And of course, if it's an arson, well, then it's also a felony. Reporting live, Tom Baker, KTVU. Fox 2 News. Yeah, hopefully investigators find out sooner rather than later exactly what happened there. Tom, thank you. Mm -hmm.